APUSH students everywhere, hello and welcome to yet another Reading Through History student produced knockoff video. My name is Damien Chang and today's video will focus on the topic of Medicom's War. Medicom's War is considered by many historians to be the deadliest war per capita in colonial American history. What caused Medicom's War? What were the short and long term effects of Medicom's War? Let's start with some background information. As European powers such as Great Britain, Spain, and France raced to colonize the New World after Columbus's arrival in the Americas, they encountered Native American populations who had already settled in the vast expanse of North America for centuries. In our class, we learned that often, at least in the beginning, many of these Native American tribes would greet the first arriving Europeans with relatively open arms. But then, with no time it seems, as expressed in APUSH Key Concept 2.13e, British conflicts with American Indians over land, resources, and political boundaries led to military confrontations such as Medicom's War in New England. The story of Medicom's War begins with the Wampanoag, a confederation of several Native American tribes who settled in Massachusetts and Rhode Island in the New England area. Massasoit, their tribal chief, maintained a friendly relationship with their colonists throughout the course of his life, and after his death, his son, Medicom, became tribal leader of the Wampanoags. However, their relationship would soon fall apart. When the two sides met in 1671, the colonists insisted on the confiscation of Indian weapons, an act that was seen by many Wampanoags as an overreach of British authority. The Indians were concerned about encroachment, the intrusion of colonists upon Native American lands. Encroachment was the cause of nearly all conflicts between Native Americans and colonists. Then, just four years later in 1675, three Wampanoag Indians were convicted and hung for murder in Plymouth Colony. The execution prompted outrage from the Wampanoags. Later that month, the Indians attacked a Plymouth Colony settlement in what would be known as the Raid on Swansea. For the first few months of the war, the colonists suffered heavily from the Indians' guerrilla-style warfare. They launched ambushes and laid siege to small settlements, often killing the entire population within. Then, in December, the colonists, with a force of over 1,000 men, attacked and killed over 600 Native American fighters in what would become known as the Great Swamp Fight. Medicom, suffering from heavy losses, retreated to the east coast of New York. There he attempted to enlist help from the Mohawk people. However, the tribe refused and launched a surprise attack against the Wampanoag Indians. This was a crippling blow to Medicom and would prove to be the turning point of the war. In the following months, many Wampanoags surrendered to the colonists. The war peaked in March of 1676 when the Wampanoag and allied Narragansett Indians attacked Plymouth Plantation. Though the town fended off the attack, nine colonists were tortured and buried in what would become known as the Nine Men's Misery Incident. By early July of 1676, most of Medicom's allies had deserted him, and Medicom himself went into hiding in Providence, Rhode Island. A raiding party captured him in August of 1676. He was shot, beheaded, then drawn and quartered in gruesome execution. His head would remain on display in Plymouth Colony for the next 20 years. Though Medicom's death effectively ended Medicom's war, there were many lasting effects. More than 1,000 colonists and 3,000 Native Americans had perished in the war. More than half of New England settlements had been raided, many completely destroyed or burned to the ground. The few surviving Indian tribes who had supported Medicom were raided by the colonists, with many Indians captured and sold as slaves. Conservative estimates approximate a 40 to 80 percent decrease in Native American population in New England area as a result of Medicom's war. The colonists, too, suffered heavy losses with Plymouth Colony alone losing close to 10 percent of its population. It would take decades for the colonists to recover from the loss of life and vast military expenses. As a result of Medicom's war, the New England area saw a drastic decrease in resistance and opposition to British encroachment from Native Americans. Though there were small battles and revolts over the next century, the fear of having entire tribes eradicated was sufficient to keep the Native Americans in compliance with British colonists. Looking back, we can see many similarities in Medicom's war and modern-day international relations. It serves as a testament to show how quickly relationships can evolve and deteriorate. U.S.-North Korean relations, for example, have evolved countless times in the past decade. In the end, peace between nations is constantly balanced on a razor's edge. For the Native Americans, encroachment from the British colonists pushed the balance over the line. 